Question, how many of you guys out there make content on your smartphones? Hey, what's good people? Tech Jamo. If it's your first time on the channel, make sure you can do me a little favor, hit that subscribe, like, and notification bell so you can be in with the newest videos that I'm launching. Now, I've been saying for time, why don't people make more content on their smartphones? In fact, for the majority of my channel, the majority of JJamo TV HD, Tech Jamo, I have made every video from my smartphone because I couldn't afford a camera. I just about afforded a camera this time. Now, there are companies out here that are trying to make it easier for people to create content on their smartphone. And one of them is Viewflex. They've got right here a complete smartphone kit for content creators. Comes with your microphone, little phone grip thing, got a little tripod there as well. So let's pop it open and see what's really good. So yeah guys, this thing comes in at 56 pound, which for me, honestly, is very steep. But 56 pound is still cheaper than buying yourself a completely new camera for your YouTube or whatever platform you're creating the content on. And the box does look nice, I'm not gonna lie. So man can see where the 56 pound is going. Okay. Okay, is that a, okay, you get a little velvety case kind of thing going on here. This, this is lush. Hey, this is lush. Anyway, let me put that to the side there. Got a little instruction manual kind of thing, but the stuff inside the box looks relatively easy. So I'm just gonna put that down to the side as well. That's what you got inside. I love the presentation. Presentation is looking sick, guys. Let's start off with the tripod, if I can get it out. Okay, so plastic feeling tripod. Um, it does feel quite sturdy though. Not the, it is very plasticky though, not like some of the more sturdier tripods I thought stand alone. Like these feel metal. Like this, this, I know I can drop this down the stairs and I'll have to feel sorry for the stairs. But this, I don't know if it will make the whole journey down the staircase. But um, yeah, no, looks quite decent. It's got little rubber feet on there. Um, young tripod thing. This looks like the foam grip. Now this is so much more metal than what I just saw in that tripod. It doesn't even look like this is supposed to be in this box because I can feel that the quality of this is way beyond what this tripod is trying to offer. So this looks like the phone grip and you can obviously loosen it to change up whether you want to make it vertical or horizontal. Now it's spring loaded, which means that if it does clap on any of the buttons in your phone, um, that's gonna be peak. Oh yeah, I forgot this case in my phone is quite big. There we go. All right. Good thing of the Galaxy S21 Ultra is that all the buttons are up this side so you can mount it all the way down here and all the way down here and not really worry about any of the buttons being pressed. So that's all good. That seems to work. Um, and I think this, oh right. So the mounting tripod plate is built into this phone grip. That is sick, because I can actually use this on other tripods. Yeah, yeah, that's live, that's live. Then we've got the little shotgun microphone from Viewflex. So you've got a little 3.5 millimeter there. Um, yeah, no, this, this looks good quality. Looks good quality, this must be the little shock mount. Let me just take that out carefully. It's quite wedged in there. Okay, it's so like a double shock mount kind of situation going on. If I just, oh, the shock mount feels very, um, very flimsy, very flimsy shock mount going on here. All right, so we eventually got the microphone mounted on the flimsy shock mount. It's very strange in this box today. Some things are very high quality and then other things were just chucked in. This mount for the smartphone and this microphone are one of the high quality things, but then it looks like they've skimped out on the suspension for the microphone and for the tripod itself. And it even comes with a little dead cat for the microphone, which you just push over like that. Uh, yeah, that that's that's quite cool. No, 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 that is quite cool. I like that. That's that's really cool. Ah, so I just realised this is how you're supposed to properly mount the microphone. I was <laughs> I was trying to mount it on the flat, the fatter bit kind of thing, but it's actually supposed to go here on this slimmer bit. Okay, my bad, but. The, the the shock mount still feels bare flimsy. Oh, and obviously we got some dinner for later tonight. Don't know, we got the seasoning. 
Put that on the chicken, good to go. Right, let's get this box out of the way. And let's start building our smartphone rig. Yeah, you see how it's kind of flexing? You see that? If you put pressure on it, it's kind of flexing. If I use like a proper one now, you understand? All right, anyway, put that here. Screw this onto here like so. That is all done. Let's slap this in this spring-loaded clamp. I don't know why they didn't just make a, a twist clamp kind of thing, but you know, anyway, spring-loaded clamp, that'll do. That looks all good to me. And what we'll do is we'll get this plugged into here. We'll put it on top of the hot shoe that's on top of the clamp. I forgot to even mention that, guys. Look, there's a hot shoe on top of there. Light work, light work indeed. There we go. And then we'll just plug this into the A. Hey, we don't have no, we don't have no headphone jack on a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. All right, guys. So disclaimer, you're also going to need one of these in order to plug this microphone into the phone. Uh, my phone doesn't have a headphone jack. So I'm going to need this. But once you get this, you make sure you plug the TRRS into the headphone bit and then you plug the rest of it into the smartphone. And um, yeah, there, there you go. There's your, your smartphone rig. Smartphone rig's good to go, fam. Hey. Don't know the done no. All right, guys. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what you got going on here. So now, you know, obviously, if you're filming, it's a lot easier to hold this than it is to hold your actual smartphone itself. And obviously, you can, you know, have better audio now that you've got the microphone on the phone. Do you guys want me to do a test with and without the microphone? A quick one? Ah, let me just do a quick one. All right, guys, so test number one, we're listening to my voice on the internal microphone built into the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. So, yeah, I mean, I think the Galaxy S21 Ultra has a quite a decent internal microphone. I was really surprised with it. I don't even know if I'm going to use an external microphone when I'm vlogging with this phone in the future because the external or the internal microphone just sounds so good. But anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to turn around now and let's plug in the external microphone from Viewflex. One second. So it should tell me, ah, there we go. Recording audio through USB mic. So now we're still on the Samsung Galaxy, but we're using the external microphone. I mean, hopefully we are anyway. I don't know if this actually works where I can just plug in a microphone halfway through recording. But um, yeah, hopefully this works and you should be able to tell that there's a difference in my voice. One thing is with this Viewflex microphone is there's no gain dial on the microphone, so there's no way for me to really change my audio levels. So I guess we're gonna have to just take it into post and see if I can make my voice a little bit louder or a little bit quieter, or whether the levels right now are adequate for doing a little vlog. Anyway, let's get this into the video editor and see what's really good. Yeah, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty much happy with that. That's, you know, pretty simple. Um, Obviously, the tripod is not the strength that I'd like it to be, and the shock mount for the microphone is a bit flimsy. But apart from that, everything else is quite good quality. Could you probably get all these parts individually for a cheaper price, perhaps? I don't think so, because my mini tripod on its own was $17.99, and my microphone was £70. <laughs> so even the Rode Video Micro, decent mic, is about £40 upwards. So for £56, you're actually getting a relatively decent deal. One thing that it is missing, though, is a video light. Now, a little video light like this would have made all the difference in terms of the quality that you can get from your smartphone. Obviously, we know smartphones have very small sensors, so they almost always need extra light when you're using them to film or create content. So slapping one of those in this bundle would have been really good, but um, obviously you can get these separately, but the whole point of the bundle is that it includes everything. So this is all good for bright daylight, but for that indoor filming, like I'm filming now, um, you need the light. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully this helped. Leave a comment in the comment section below, subscribe, like, all that jazz, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bless out.